How to make money freelancing and be your own boss. What is freelancing? Freelancing means that you're self-employed and working for companies or individuals on a contract basis. You aren't considered a full-fledged employee of any one company. Instead, you can take on projects with several different companies or clients. There's a lot to love about freelancing. For one, you get to choose your own hours. You can work part-time or full-time and take on as many clients as you have the capacity for. Freelancers can also set their own pay rates. Over time, this could result in higher earnings than a traditional employment arrangement. On the flip side, freelancers typically don't get benefits or paid time off. Income can be inconsistent, and it can be hard work to find your first clients. Why become a freelancer? Freelancing is ideal for anyone who wants more flexibility with their time. After all, you're the one choosing which projects to take on, so you have the final say over your schedule and workload. For me, this was the biggest motivator when I started freelancing. I wanted to work on projects I was interested in while having the freedom to travel, visit my family, and take an extra day off to binge the Great British Bake Off from time to time. How to make money freelancing online in 7 steps. Step 1. Map out your goals for freelancing. Starting a new freelancing business without a goal is like setting sail without a compass. It's hard to end up where you want to go without knowing what that endpoint is. Setting goals for your freelance business can keep you on track. Here are some types of goals to consider. Financial goals. Is there a certain amount of money you want to earn per month or year? Do you intend to freelance full-time or as a side hustle? Time goals. What kind of workload do you want for yourself? How many hours per week do you want to work? Lifestyle goals. Do you want to work from home? Do you hope to take more family vacations away from work? Passion goals. Is there a specific type of project you'd enjoy working on that would fulfill you? Step 2. Decide what services to offer. You might already have an idea about what you'll offer as a freelancer, and if you do, that's awesome. Some industries naturally lend themselves to freelancing. But if you're new to the game and feel stuck in the what will my services be stage, this section will help you get some clarity. Start by thinking about what you already do well. I know it sounds simple, but some skills that seem intuitive to you might be major pain points for other people. Maybe you're excellent at organizing data, or creating logos, or writing interesting articles. Maybe you speak two languages or have a knack for editing YouTube videos. Think about what kind of work you like doing, what lights you up inside. Ideas for freelance jobs. Article or Copywriting. Virtual assistant. Social media manager. Website designer. Web developer. Programming. Graphic designer. Online teacher or tutor. UX designer, sales, customer support, language translator, video or photo editor. Step 3. Identify your ideal client. Next, think about the ideal client you'd like to work with. You might prefer freelancing for individuals, small business owners, large companies, or that cool new startup everyone's talking about. Think about what this client needs, their struggles, what they want to outsource, and where they hang out online. This way, you can tailor your marketing efforts to the right people. The nice thing about freelancing is that you can choose your own clients and projects, so why not choose something you love? Step 4. Create your packages and pricing. Another perk of being a freelancer is that you can set your own pricing. Most freelancers structure their pricing one of three ways. Hourly. Hourly rate gigs are exactly what they sound like. You set a price that you'll be paid for each hour of work. A client hires you to do a task, and you track how long it takes. Once it's complete, you bill the client for the time it took. Unsure of how much to charge? To give you a ballpark figure, a 2020 Payoneer study of over 7,000 freelancers from 150 different countries found that freelancers charge $21 per hour on average. You may need to adjust this number based on where you live, what service you provide, and your experience level, but it's helpful to have a starting point. Keep in mind. While the hourly pay structure is simple, it's not ideal for scaling your business. Eventually, you'll get faster and more efficient at the services you offer, so it might make more sense to use a project-based model. Project-based. Project-based gigs mean that you and the client agree on a full price for a project, regardless of how many hours it takes you to finish it. For example, if you're a website designer, you might charge a flat rate of $3,000 to build a new website for a client. 
When structuring project packages, be clear about the number of revisions and the timeline so everyone is on the same page. Retainer. Retainer packages are ideal for most freelancers since they provide income consistency. With a retainer, your client pays you a recurring amount for your services on an ongoing basis. Retainers save time for both parties because you're not constantly onboarding or offboarding. You can learn their systems and deliver consistent work specific to their preferences instead of meeting new clients every few weeks. Step 5. Set up your website and freelancing portfolio. Now that you have an idea of your freelance services and prices, it's time to tell the world that you're open for business. The best way to do this is through a website. All Podia users have access to our free website builder, which allows you to create and customize unlimited pages with just a few clicks. Sign up now and build a beautiful website 100% for free. You can also use platforms like WordPress and Squarespace to build your freelancer website for a small monthly fee. Both include beautiful templates that are easy to use out of the box, even if you're not a techie. Make sure your website includes the following. About page. This is where you tell prospective clients more about yourself. Services page. Here, you'll outline your services and packages in detail. Portfolio pieces. Showcase your best work so future customers know what to expect. Testimonials. Testimonials and reviews add legitimacy. Here are some ways to ask for them. Contact information. Make it easy for prospects to get in touch with you. Take a look at the website of Atlanta-based graphic designer Colleen Akins. Her website has a clear breakdown of her services as well as detailed client reviews, portfolio pieces, and about page, and contact information. As a potential client, I can learn about her brand and see examples of her work in one easy-to-navigate site. Step 6. Find clients you enjoy. When you're first starting out, finding clients can involve some hustle. The good news? With how interconnected we are these days, there are many avenues to find customers in need of your services. I've met freelance clients at industry conferences, on social media, through remote job listing sites, and even through sending emails to people I looked up to and wanted to work with. Here are some ways to find your first freelance clients. Use social media. Post about your services on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. 74% of freelancers use social media to promote their business, so this can be an excellent place to find possible lead. Step 7. Scale your business. Now that your freelance business is chugging along, it's time to think about scaling. Scaling a business means setting it up so it can grow without limitations. As an independent freelancer, your time is your biggest limiting factor. There's only one of you and 24 hours in a day, so to maximize your earnings, you want to avoid trading hours for dollars. Here are some ways to scale your freelance business for the long term. Continue your education. Now that you're the boss, you're responsible for your own education and development. Take online courses, attend industry conferences, and learn as much as possible to go deeper into your niche. Say you're interested in improving your freelance writing skills. 10x landing pages, an online course devoted to uplifting conversions with copy, could do the trick. This could be a great program for enhancing your writing skill set, which could lead to future clients. Please like and subscribe the channel.